everybody, it's Faith. Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. Oh, yeah, I'm behind again. I know. I suck at this. I'm sorry. I have the worst time management skills ever. It was a long weekend. I worked way too much. And then I got my new lawnmower and really needed to mow my lawn. And that took two evenings. So, but I'm here now. And I'm going to knock them all out as fast as I can for the second half of June. So, who's next? I'm just letting the Bianco Nero deck decide who's going next because I'm not... I'm, I'm in no state to make decisions on my own right now. <laughs> really not. So, okay. Who's next? Libra! You're next! This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, all right. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Libra on the planet. It's not supposed to. I'm not that cool, and I'll be the first one to admit it. If I could harness that kind of energy out of the universe, do you think I'd be sitting here reading cards on YouTube? Probably not. I'm just saying. I'd be working in Vegas. <laughs> Sorry. I'm slap happy tired right now. Probably going to be the last reading I do tonight because I need to go reset my brain. But anyway, where was I? Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you would like something that may or may not resonate a little bit better. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I'm available for personal readings if you feel so inclined. The information on that is in the description of this video as well as the about section of our channel. Hit me up. We'll talk. Good stuff. Oh, crying out loud. The Queen of Wands decided to make an appearance. We'll see if she pops back up. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And they play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And cross watchers are always welcome at my table. Okay, Libra. What do the cards have for you for the second half of June? Hey, now, what are you doing? Getting all uppity, getting all excited. Libra, why are you here? Knight of Wands, you may be dealing with fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be dealing with a little bit of a player. Maybe you're the player type yourself. I don't know, I don't judge. I just read the cards. But there's definitely some in and out energy going on. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Four of Cups in reversed. You feel like they are ignoring the cup that you are trying to hand them. Maybe they're spending way too much con time concentrating on things that happened in the past. Or other things. What do you think of them? Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay. You possibly feel think they avoid conflict. Maybe you just kind of think they're a giant yes man. Don't you hate that? Somebody who doesn't have an opinion about anything? Somebody who just goes with the flow? Solely to avoid confrontation? I hate that. Have an opinion for crying out loud. Alright, what do you want from them? Six of Swords reversed. Hmm... You could be in separation and would like them to return. Hmm. Okay. How do they feel about you? Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. They like what you have to offer. That's cool. What do they think of you? Chariot in the reverse. Hmm.
That's a card of closing gaps. It's a card of being pulled in two different directions. It's a card of turning the chariot around and heading back somewhere. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. What do they want from you? Six of Wands reversed. Hmm. I'm not saying it. We're throwing a clarifier on it. What's the challenge? Page of Cups. Oh, there's that darn cup again. Perhaps someone isn't giving or receiving messages loud enough to be heard. It's a communication issue, more or less. Okay, Libra. What can be done? Ten of cups. That's ten full freaking cups right there. That's coming back together. I got enough return cards here, so hold on. Hold on. Let's just. Before anybody freaks out, let's throw some clarity on this. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Libra, please, for the second half of June 2020? Why are you shuffle and cut if you're just gonna let them fly out? Because that's what I do, okay? It's my process. I'm sorry. say it so I put no intention into it but I was staring at the five of cups reversed four of cups reversed and then the chariot pops out so you feel like there's potential for forward movement there emotional distance. You feel like they ignore you, like they're emotionally distanced from you. You want a forward movement, but there's, there's too much of a gap. Okay. <clears throat> Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? I just read the cards. Don't look at me. I wasn't even there. Nutty cups. Avoidance of conflict. I love you, honey. We'll do whatever you want to do. Yep. You think they're a little bit of a yes man. Okay. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Five of Wands in the upright. Five of Wands in the upright.
This may be someone you've dealt with before. And if that's the case, you want the person back that you knew. They're different. They've changed. You're just like, where's the person that used to, like, argue? Where's the person that had an opinion? Where did that person go? <clears throat> I'm not saying you want to, like, duke it out every day, but... You, you'd like a little back and forth, you know. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for... How they feel about Libra. Eight of Cups. Okay. One more. You want to speak. Yes, you do. Two of Pentacles. Okay. There's a little bit of juggling here. A little bit, of, a little bit of back and forth. A little bit of trying to maintain balance. They feel like you're getting ready to walk. Like, if I don't give everything, give everything I have into this, and be compliant. They're going to leave. It's a balancing act for them right now. It's like, I'll give you whatever you want, just don't leave. Why is the chair reversed here? The Empress. Aw, one more. Judgment reversed, okay. You, Libra, you're the one they want to have a family with. You're the one they want to grow with. You're the, they want to close the gap. They're just unsure of how. Why is judgment reversed here? Hangman reversed. Emotionally stuck. Emotionally stuck on what? One more. I'm going to beat this card to death for a second. Just bear with me. Six of Pentacles reversed. Back in balance. Something's out of balance. The situation itself may be slightly out of balance. Somebody isn't who they used to be. Things are different. People have changed. Someone is petrified of being left behind again. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Or how the other person feels about Libra? Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Justice in the upright. The moon, the five of cups reversed. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. I mean, there's there's a lot of there's a nice chunk of water right there. It's change. I think this person desperately wants to maintain balance. And had they had to ch change how they dealt with their emotions. One more.
King of Swords. They want balance, they want logical thought. They feel a spark with you. I think you get them going like on an intellectual level. What the hell just flew out? Five of Swords reversed. They want to pick the pieces up. They want to come out of that state of sadness. They changed for you. Two reversed fives. They changed for you. Which is kind of ironic because you just want the old them back. Okay, so the challenge here is the Page of Cups. Ultimately, the challenge here is the damn cup and how the cup is dealt or dealt with. Why is the Page of Cups here? The world. The Emperor. <sighs> Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Someone relinquishing control. In being in control by relinquishing control. That makes any sense to anybody. Seven Pentacles reversed. Ah, that helps it make sense. Impatience. Libra, you didn't want this person to change. You may have wanted them to change some habits. You didn't want them to change entirely. This person has changed entirely. They've spent... How do I put this? Let's go back up to how you feel. You feel ignored. You feel like the other person's emotionally closed off, like they're distant, like they keep concentrating on the past. Well, yeah, they're concentrating on the past. If I'm reading this correctly, they've lost you before and they got you back. They're not going to lose you again. So they're relearning how to communicate with you. Or they've finally learned how to communicate with you. But it seems like you're losing a little bit of patience. I just want the old you back! Okay, well. Ten of Cups. Can I get clarity on the Ten of Cups, please? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Seven of Swords reversed. Truths being spoken. People coming back together. So it needs to be done. People need to sit down and hash it out. And they need to come back together in this beautiful Ten of Cups union. Ten and three is thirteen. One and three is four. Four of Cups is turning that four back up in the upright and taking the cup. Cross watcher, that's your message. You have to be able to take the cup as well as, you know, give it. Love is give and take. Love is equal. Love is balance. 
speak your truth and find that balance. Two of Swords. Take the blindfold off. It's not going to be a comfortable conversation. It never is. Sometimes when you set an old pair of shoes in the closet for winter and you bring them back out in spring, they don't fit quite right. You changed. Yeah, that's more for my grandmother. Sound advice. She was a wise old woman. Very tiny woman, but wise. We're constantly changing and evolving as people. And sometimes when we go into separation, we go in and out of each other's lives and we come back together, we're different people. And you either learn to cope with that, or you don't. I guess it depends on how much you want it to work. If you want your Ten of Cups ending, you make it work. If you don't want your Ten of Cups ending, you don't make it work. It's not up to me, I wasn't there. It's not my journey, it's yours. I just read the cards. What's your advice? Ten of Pentacles in the upright and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Speaking of letting things go. If you want the big brick house with a white picket fence, the 2.5 kids in the pool and the dog and all that happy jazz, there's crap you gotta let go of. And a lot of that crap is the crap that you've been holding on from the past. You're different people. And that, that, that can even be sound advice if you're moving on with somebody else. The Ace of Cups and the Lovers. A new start and a blessed connection. Sometimes a do-over and a bad idea. Sometimes you get a beautiful new start. With an old flame. An old connection. You are allowed that sometimes. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. The only one with the power to release any burdens is you. And you have to have patience with yourself and patience with the universe and time. You don't, you understand time's a man-made construct, right? Time doesn't exist anywhere else. I mean, it does, but not like it does here. You must be patient. But that burden isn't going to lift itself. You have to let go. Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. You never know what's in the cup if you don't take it. And it could be something wonderful and abundant and stable and everything you ever wanted. You don't know unless you take the cup. And that's the gamble. The Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles to round this all out. The Five of Pentacles just happens to be in the reverse. You have choices. You have options. And you're never going to know if one of those options is coming in out of the cold with each in out of the cold with each other if you don't choose a cup. Again, that's part of the gamble. It's the road of life. Libra. I know it's hard. But sometimes you got to take the gamble. You never know if you don't. But you don't have to listen to me. I just read the cards. I mean, safety first. You gotta love yourself first, ultimately, always.
always love yourself first. And don't make any rash decisions based on a tarot reading. That would be insane. Even I don't do that. I mean, granted, over the years, there's been advice I should have taken, like when a tarot reader sat down with me in 2000, oh gosh, what year was that? 2007? Yeah. It's 2007. And said, I, I shouldn't date Leos. It's a horrible idea. Just very bad for me. I needed to avoid Leos at all costs. I married one. Married one. Yeah, I should have listened. But I took the gamble. And I'm better for it. I wouldn't have my son if I hadn't. And that, that, that little boy is a beautiful, wonderful thing. He is. He is a blessing on my life. And I would not have had it any other way. And if I'd have listened to that tarot reader, I wouldn't have my son. So I wouldn't have had the journey that I've had. And I thank God for every day of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. I thank him for every day of it. But I'm going to stop babbling now. Libra, thanks for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, it's your journey. Do what you want. I'm not going to twist your arm. If you need a personal reading, you know where I am. And I will catch you guys in a week or so for the first half of July. Love you to bits. Catch you later.